One of my favorite quotes comes from a guy who was founder of Intuit, Scott Cook, all the Quicken software stuff. He said this, if you can't please your current customers, you don't deserve new ones. Today's customers are defining pleased in a much different way. They're demanding, they're sophisticated, they're educated, they have higher levels of expectations, they want that trust back, they need credibility, they want a deep relationship, they want you to know them better than anybody else, they want a customer experience, all those things. And we've got to make certain we're pulling that off. I find it fascinating that so many people have the good intentions, but they just don't really put it into action. This was something that came from um, Wall Street Journal, a little article about how companies are going and doing the visits to things like Four Seasons, Ritz Carlton, to steal their ideas. I mean, you know what I mean. I mean, you know, Ritz Carlton, you can go to the, some of their classes and learn their secrets. Like you can go to Disney, take the secrets back to your organization. Okay, that's what this Wall Street Journal article was about. And I just was amazed. So after attending a symposium at the Ritz-Carlton Cleveland in March, da, 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 John Levis, manager of cultural leadership at a regional bank, won't name him, started a weekly version of the Ritz's daily meeting for his team. There's only one more sentence I want to read, but let me just stop there for a moment. Did y'all hear that? They went and spent all this time figuring out what Ritz's secrets are. One of Ritz's secrets is a 10-minute daily meeting they do. Okay, many of you know it. You've heard about it, this 10-minute meeting. So they went, they learned that. But they went back and said, gosh, that's a nice, I, I, we, let's just do it weekly. <laughs> you know, I just don't, I, that, I, 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 it just makes me nervous, that 10-minute that thing every day. I mean, so they, they already, I mean, it's like, why'd you bother? Well, He stopped the gathering after six months, partly because it kept getting canceled. (laughs) This guy was manager of cultural leadership. Who canceled the meeting? My guess is he was the one canceling it. Okay, I mean, so what I find so interesting is we sit here, we come to meetings like this. We take great notes. We have these incredible intentions. What are we doing to execute what we're gaining What is your daily discipline of execution? Your daily discipline will determine your destiny. Where do you want to go? What do you want to be? What are your goals? Your daily discipline will determine your destiny.